Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. Um, so, Russell Westbrook has demanded a trade from the Los Angeles Lakers. And I'm, you know what I'm going to say? I'm very proud of Russell Westbrook because I don't blame him for this. And I don't blame him because I think that they're doing him, they're doing Russ dirty. I feel like they're throwing him under the bus when it is clearly, it clearly wasn't all his fault. Okay. A lot of this had to do with LeBron James missing all those games, not playing defense, and Anthony Davis not coming to camp in shape last year and getting hurt. So you can't put all the blame on Russell Westbrook. You can't. They threw him under the bus. They, you know, and then what makes what makes it so crazy is that how much of a snake LeBron James is. I don't care if people want to get hurt or they, and they feelings get out. Please get out of it. You know, it's he's a snake that he went behind this. You smile and grin his face, but behind his back, you try to get the man traded. And it's just like that was just a sucker move because I thought that him, Russ and AD, I thought they were all in this together. But you're going to go behind his back to get him traded for Kyrie Irving, a guy that just cannot be trusted. A guy that betrayed Kevin Durant. I don't care what nobody says. He did not want to get that shot last year. And I understand, you know, he want to try to be, you know, a rebel, a rebel against society and all this stuff. But it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous that he did not get that shot, that he didn't care nothing about the team. He left them hanging. And but this is the guy that the Lakers want. It just don't make sense. Y'all just don't make sense at all. And I don't blame him for not for uh, for wanting to get traded. And it just proves that Ru that um, LeBron James is not loyal. It proves that he's selfish. It proves that he only cares about himself. He don't care about nobody but himself. And my thing is, if you want to get him traded off for of one year, and I understand he didn't play well last year, but. Why don't you give it? Why don't you give it a second chance and see and try to run it back? Because it wasn't all his fault. You know, virtually at times it was Russ playing by himself, playing by himself. Because half the season LeBron and AD missed 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 games, but nobody wants to talk about that. Because you know you got a lot of people on YouTube as 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 we speak that's kissing LeBron James behind. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Kissing his behind. He gets praised. And I don't understand it. Laker fans, I mean, y'all won't, I mean, y'all, y'all, so y'all accept mediocrity? You accept not making the play two out of the last four years, not being in the playoffs, um, a first round exit? You're accepting mediocrity? So that's what you're accepting. So you're celebrating LeBron James not making the playoffs last year, right? Correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're celebrating 2019 not making the playoffs. 2022 not making the playoffs. 2021 getting booted out the first round? You're celebrating that. So LeBron James can keep on losing and y'all are still calling the GOAT. But nobody holds him accountable for this. What he did was selfish, and it was against the code because you don't try to get people traded. And I understand, maybe Kyrie Irving is a better player, but how you think that makes Bron look? That he's always looking for the easy way out. He's always looking for somebody to save him. Why can't he just get it out the mud and stop trying to trade and get a cheat code and, 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 and throw people under the bus? That's not right. That's not right. But y'all praise him though. Y'all treat this man like we're supposed to bow and, and bow. Y'all be kissing this man behind all the time. And he gets away with murder, but nobody calls him out. How can you treat people? You treat people like this? Russ was an all-star. Russ was an MVP before he got to the Lakers. So don't give me that crap about, oh, he was, his numbers took a dip. 
when your numbers take a dip, if if LeBron James and Anthony Davis didn't play and you played with a, with a bunch of mediocre talent at best, because outside of AD and LeBron, the Le- that Laker team was terrible last year. They were too old. They had no bigs. They couldn't run. They were terrible. So you're going to put all the blame on Russ? And I like the fact that when he was at that summer league game um, in Las Vegas, I was happy that he did not speak to um, the LeBron James. Who do he think he is? So he's supposed to just keep treating people any kind of way? I don't blame him. Because everybody ain't got to kiss his behind. I don't blame him. Y'all treat this man like, like he's Jesus Christ. He can fail, but don't nobody else say nothing. Just like everybody was on KD, KD for getting swept. But yet, Brian and the Lakers didn't make the playoffs, but they're still calling him GOAT. I don't understand it. Everybody else, y'all was on Chris Paul. Chris Paul went to the second round of playoffs. But yet, when Brian fails, oh, they sweep that under the rug. When he do things and fail, don't play no defense. Don't nobody say nothing. But you want to throw Russ under the bus, stop using Russ as a scapegoat. It wasn't all his fault. It was it was it was a team fault. They didn't play any defense last year, especially Brian. Brian, don't let that old that old what thirty points a game. I don't want to hear that. He didn't play no defense. You you he 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 gave thirty. He scored thirty, but he gave up twenty eight. What good is that doing you? All them easy layups teams had against the Lakers. But you want to throw Russ under the bus. And I think it's very, very weak. And I, I, I just got to, I don't understand it. That you want to, I wouldn't want to play with Russ, with, with, with LeBron. The way he did, the way he did Russ. Throwing people under the bus. It's always somebody else's fault except his. He never wants to take, at, at, um, he never want to take responsibility when things go wrong. He always want to blame somebody else. You always want to take getting all these 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 all-star players taking the easy road out. Why him, Russ, and AD just couldn't run it back? Because if you get Kyrie Irving, that makes you look weak to me. It looks weak. And I don't I don't blame um I don't blame um Russell Westbrook for being upset. I'd be furious too. I played the whole I practically played he played practically the whole season. But you want to get a guy in Kyrie Irving who just can't stay healthy. He cannot stay healthy. He hasn't been healthy since what? Since what, 2014, 15? He cannot stay healthy. But this is the guy that you want, that you want, that you want a guy who turned his back on Kevin Durant, a guy who didn't care about the team, he cared about himself. But that's the guy that you want to bring, right? Then if you trade Russell Westbrook, you trade um, Kyrie Irving, you got to give up two number one picks. So if you do get Kyrie Irving, which you're not going to win a championship with him because that's still not enough. Okay, let's say next year you don't win anything. And he, he signs that one year deal. He can, he can get lost, he can be gone. And the Lakers get nothing. They get nothing. If if I'm the Lakers, I'm keeping Russ. And I don't care about Brian. I don't care about him. You don't treat people like this, man. You do not treat your teammates like this. It shows that he can't be trusted. He's a snake. And I know a lot of people love Brian. No, no disrespect, but let's just call the spade a spade, man. Call the spade a spade. He mistreats people. But y'all, you know, y'all, especially these YouTubers, man, they still call him the GOAT. No diss, no nothing. I'm not dissing nobody, okay? But how can you call him the GOAT? He's the king of L.A. How is he the king of L.A.? Two out of the last four years since he's been here, he hasn't been in the playoffs and got put out the first round. But y'all still around here kissing his anus. It's sad, man. It is real sad how many passes Brian get and how many people he just stepped over to get to, to get to the top. So you got to keep mistreating people. People get mad. People say Russ, Russ is soft. I don't blame Russ for that. 
What, he's supposed to smile in somebody's face who, 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 who basically betrayed him? He got every right to be upset. And I hope that they trade him and go somewhere else. So when Russ leave next year and things don't work out, what are they going to say then? Because LeBron at 38 years old is not going to play every 80, all 82 games next season. It's not going to happen. He's injury prone at this stage of his career. If this was 2012, that'd be something different. If he was getting that Miami athletic crazy freak of nature LeBron James, okay, I could understand that. But Bron is 28 years, is what, 38 years old, past his prime. He's a good player, but he doesn't control, he doesn't control the game anymore like he used to because he's getting older. You're depending, let me get this straight. You're depending on a 38-year-old player in his 20th year to carry you to a championship. I mean, how delusional are you guys? You guys are desperate. And I don't blame Kyrie Irving. I'm not bad. I don't blame Russell Westbrook if he wants to leave this mess of a team. This team is a mess. And this organization is a hot mess. Because, like I said before, and I told y'all many times, the Lakers want to take the easy way out. The, 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 um, the Lakers want to play it safe. They don't want to lose for a few years. They need to just rebuild and stop getting all these old players. They need to just rebuild, but they won't do it. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't speak to Brian at, at, the, um, at the summer league game. Psst. Kudos for him. Time somebody stand up to him instead of sitting around kissing his butt like everybody else do. I don't blame him. I hope he gets traded. So when they fall next year, who they gonna blame then? Cause you know it's always with Bron, it's always a scapegoat. It's already it's always somebody else instead of him. But that's all I gotta say, man. Good for Russ for, for the man in that trade. Because at the end of the day, hey, I don't blame him. Why stay somewhere where you're not wanted? And I don't blame him. That's it. Deuces.